Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my boy again, Adam Slink. How you guys doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you guys watch this video from. So let's talk about this guy, RIP to him. He's a guy who recently got visa out of Nigeria, Jagba, he can't escape coming from Nigeria. So this guy went home to inform his family that, oh, family, I have a visa to leave Nigeria. Finally, I want Jackpa to come out from Nigeria. And your father said, you know what? Before you Jackpa, there are some falsification I need to do to you, my son. There are some things, some spiritual things that you need to have in your body so that good luck and prosperity will be following you over there. So that things will be flowing for you over there. You won't imagine what this guy's father did this man father took this boy to a specialist abalist a specialist abalist asked the abalist to fortify his son so that good luck and everything will be following him so the abalist said the gods have told him that his son will be buried alive for one hour 30 minutes and then after that, when they bring him out, he will be like a reborn soul, strong, attract all the locks in the world. Unfortunately, you won't believe the next to follow. Now we are writing Haro IP, Haro IP, Haro IP. Chick Wadu Easy was buried alive for falsification and is dead in the process. His visa was out, and he went to his village, Ubiaka, in Igbo, Isen, not local government, in Enugu state, to inform his father. But his father suggests that they visit a native doctor for falsification so that he will be successful abroad. They got to Undowa, the native doctor, who said that Eze should be buried alive for one hour 30 minutes, after which he will be assumed. After one hour 30 minutes, they assumed him and he was dead already. Police came and arrested the father and the native doctor. came to arrest the father and the native doctor. Well, spiritual is not that easy. There are some spirituality in Niger you go through that involves life and death. But if you succeed coming out alive, you will be strong. We know that there are some spirit things that involve in this life. But I will say this and say it plainly. The father is responsible for that guy's death. It's not the guy. If the guy had traveled and not listened to the father's advice and something happened, they'll say, ah, the father will say, I told you, I told you. So his father is responsible. Sometimes they say, listen to your father. Wait till your papa see when he sit down. You are speaking, you know, go see him. So the guy did the right thing. Listening to the father's advice, his father didn't do his research very well. But the guy could have easily known as well that it's impossible for me to breathe here, no air, for, for one hour, 30 minutes. Ow! Ow! Maybe the, he should have to do an experiment before. He should have do an experiment staying on the ground for 10 minutes. Then maybe over the month of practicing it, Huh? Then he will be strong enough to go for one hour, 30 minutes. Well, I wish him all the best. What can I say? He's already gone. Hmm? Fortunately, he's already gone. Ah, now wow. The father killed him. The father is responsible. The father is responsible for that guy's death. Well, you might uh, leave your comment below, but I feel the father is responsible. And the son was a good son to go back home to talk to his father and to inform his family well. That is why sometimes advisable. 
If you get visa, eh, run, fair travel, fair before you tell people say you they travel. So that nobody will bring some kind of talk into your ears. Yes, yeah, yeah, so they, we are, we are, people are, this kind of story now, we allow other people to learn. If I get visa, I don't travel first before I will start to the court. Ava, I did this contract. I make I let you know. Sorry, I didn't inform you guys. I see make I jack up first. Whoever need to think anything that maybe you are thinking that they are your enemy of progress, let that person think. You are safeguarding your life. Your life is way more important first. <laughs> Safeguard your own first. Allow them to talk. You understand? Allow whoever wants to talk to talk, but safeguard your life first. You got by listening to the Father, buried alive for one hour, 30 minutes. Eh? Technically, it's not possible. Technically, it's not possible. Without some special equipment like AC, uh, pipe for you to breathe through the air, it's not possible. Technically, it's not possible. Technically, it's not possible. But they did it anyway. I wish him all the best. And as at this time, we are President Tunubu is telling Nigerians to come back home. Tunubu just recently returned, and that's a video. And Nigeria were jubilating yesterday that Tunubu has finally returned. Eh? Jubilating yesterday that Tunubu returned back to Nigeria. We were so happy. And when he came back, he, he told everybody. Through uh, the diaspora commissioner. He said, Nigeria, come back home. Let's rebuild this house. Come back home. Let's rebuild this home. Let's rebuild this home together. But the jackpot is still increase. The jackpotism is still increasing, 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 and increasing. It's crazy, though. Hmm? It's crazy. And have you guys noticed that eh, whenever the president travels, that is why that is when we experience another kind of inflation. Hmm? So notice, notice, it's, not, it's something that I've been noticing. Note it now. Anytime the president is traveling again, there is 50-50% chances that something wants to increase. Rise, fuel mostly, or electricity. Fuel mostly, maybe fuel one increase. That is why President they travel. Hmm? Notices, notices. I've noticed it, guys. Two things I have noticed. Hmm? If the president wants to, if the president travel, we experience increase. And after we experience increase, we experience the distribution of rice. Those are the two things I have noticed. Those are the two things I have noticed. I'm still looking for another one. Those are the two things we have noticed. Now, they told us that finally, 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 the subsidy on FX and the subsidy on FOI finally, finally over. I call it to NAPC. Finally, finally over. Well, should we believe it? <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. I say the subsidy regime has finally, finally been over. They will do not, we do not subsidize dollar and we do not subsidize four again. We do not subsidize dollar and we do not subsidize four. Okay, guys. Hmm? What that means is that government know they pay part of what you they spend on dollar. Government know they pay part of what you they spend on foy. So I hope it's going to bring good luck to Niger. You know, the the according to World Bank they said the poor people in Nigeria, the ordinary Nigeria need 10 to 15 years to reboot themselves. But meanwhile the rich men, the politicians are currently living large, buying the latest cars, living well, their family are eating well. It seems like this country we are to feed the big cow. We are to feed the big cow to oppress us. I've never seen. So if that's what democracy is about, if that's what democracy is about, honestly, I know we want that more. If that is what democracy is about, 
Honestly, I don't like I don't want it. Feed the big cow for the big cow to oppress us. We are supposed to feed the big cow for the big cow to use that money, use its flesh to serve people who need it. That's how it's supposed to be. But no, the cow they keep in flesh because they collect more, 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 more.